Hi there, today we'll discuss adversarial examples and one of the research papers regarding adversarial path. So adversarial examples affect our machine learning models and the intention behind them is to cause our models to make mistakes. They act like optical illusion for machines. They are specifically designed to fool our systems into misclassifying something. To get an idea of what adversarial example looks like, we'll start off with an imp image of panda. So on the left hand side, we have this image of panda and the classifier is not completely sure. Rather, it's denoting a probability of 57.7%. The attacker would add a small perturbation and the resultant image will look like the image on the right. This perturbation, as you may perceive as noise, but it's not noise, it's more of a structured patch of data. It has been calculated to make the image be recognized as a gibbon with high confidence. An adversarial input overlaid on a typical image can cause a classifier to miscategorize a panda as gibbon. Adversarial examples have the potential to be dangerous. They can seriously pose a security threat. For example, attackers could target autonomous cars. They can use use of similar technique to create a stop sign that the car would have interpreted as some other sign otherwise. To know more about them, I'll add the link to the research papers in the description section as usual. Adversarial examples can be worked out with normal paper on the images, can be taken with standard resolution smartphone and still cause a classifier, in this case, label the washer as a safe. So, usually in adversarial training, we make use of brute force solution where we simply generate a lot of adversarial examples and explicitly train our models not to be fooled by each of them. So far, we have seen deep learning systems are broadly vulnerable to adversarial examples. If inputs are chosen carefully, then they may cause the network to change output without a visible change to a human. These adversarial examples most commonly modify each pixel by only a small amount. Other attack methods would often seek to modify only a small number of pixels in the image small patch at a fixed location of an image. Adversarial examples have been shown to generalize to the real world. This is an example where a real world attack is taking place on VGG16 using a physical patch generated by the white box ensemble method. When a photo of a tabletop along with a banana and a notebook is kept on a table, when it's fed to VGG16, the network reports class banana with 97%. If we physically place a sticker targeted to the class toaster on the table, the photograph is then classified as a toaster with 99% confidence. Although banana has not been replaced and that sticker acted as a perturbation and made the classifier to make a huge mistake. So the attack was performed by completely replacing a part of an image with the patch. They have performed the pat master patch to allow it to take any shape and it has been trained over a variety of images. Random translation along with scaling and rotation has been performed on the patch in an image. It is then optimized using gradient descent. So in particular, the patch is trained over this objective function. In this function, x is a training of set of images, t is distribution over transformations of the patch and l is a distribution over locations in the image. A comparison of different methods for creating adversarial patches. Note that these successes rates are for random placements of the patch on top of the image. Each point in the plot is computed by applying the patch to 400 randomly chosen test images at random locations in these images. This is done for various scales of the patch as a fraction of the size of the image. Each scale is tested independently on 400 images. A comparison of patches with various disguises, we can find that we can disguise the patch and retain much of its power to fool the classifier. So in conclusion, adversarial examples show that many modern machine learning algorithms can be broken in surprising ways. They are not robust and these failures of machine learning demonstrate that even simple algorithms can behave very differently from what their designers intend. To more about it and if you are especially interested in adversarial examples, I would highly recommend checking out Clever Hands, Ian Goodfellow and Allah other deep learning researchers are actively contributing. And if you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching this video.